both a very exciting day and a terrifying day. It's HarperCollins HCC Frenzy present event today in Toronto, which is where basically a group of YA book bloggers, YouTube people come together and we talk about the upcoming releases from HarperCollins for fall. And I am both terrified and very excited about it because I'm so awkward. So hopefully I can act like a normal person for two hours and not freak out when I meet people but I guess we'll see but I figured I would bring you guys along for the ride and hopefully actually film some stuff knowing me I'll probably chicken out and not film anything off to the ghost station we go ah! cigarettes and tiny liquor bottles just what you expect Inside her new Balenciaga viral mess Turned dreams into an empire We're now in Toronto. We got our Starbucks. I actually don't have any Wi-Fi and I'm too cheap for data. So I have no idea where I'm going. So hopefully we find this place before 1.45 when I'm supposed to be there. It's 1.30 now, so... We'll see how this goes, I guess. So cute. <laughs> Another big thing on the come up is the impact that hip hop music has on so many young people. I know for me growing up, it's a land so a place that we're both so happy with today. <laughs> so next we have something really special. We have the author of The Iron Flower and The Black Witch, uh, Lori Forrest is here with us today. Um, so we're going to do a quick little question and answer. Welcome to Toronto. Black Witch is about a young woman named Ellery Gardner who grows up in a very closed magical society. And um, she looks just like her grandmother, the last Black Witch, who is like a great battle mage of her people. But Ellen, um, unlike her her famous grandmother, um, um, is believed to not have any magic. Um, so she um, is sent to a, a magical university to study to become an apothecary. Um, and when she's thrust into that world, she meets people from all other groups for the very first time and is forced to confront um, uh, the reality that she's been told a lot of lies about all the other people in her world and that maybe the villains in her world aren't all these other people, maybe they're actually her own people, the Gardnerian Ages. So in the blunt, I'm getting you back to me. It's hard not to get spoilers about the blunt. <laughs> I've made it back from the event and it was so much fun. I'm so glad I went even though I was like insanely nervous. I finally got to meet Natasha from My Reading is Odd and Julia from Julia Sapphire and Zoe from You're a Book Nerd Zoe. They're honestly so sweet and I'm so happy that I finally got to meet them. They're so cute. We met Lori Forrest who wrote Black Witch and her new book, The Iron Flower. So we got both of those books. We also got swag bags, which have three different books in them, which I'll show you guys the ones that I got. I'm kind of upset because I didn't get Saw Kill Girls, but that's fine. It's fine. Hopefully I get it as soon as it comes out. But I did get When We Caught Fire by Anna Godspurn and this is the author who wrote the Lux series which I've read two out of the four books I think there are so excited for that because they were pretty good. And then I also got one of the books that I was anticipating and I'm so excited that I got it but it is Broken Things by Lauren Oliver. I have all of Lauren Oliver's books I'm pretty sure. I haven't read Replica or the other book Delirium. I think that's the second one in that series. I haven't read those two but I've read all of her other books and I usually like her writing so I'm excited for that one. And then I also got Epic Love Story and this is by Kieran Callender. The people of 
Frenzy said that it's like a diverse cast and there's also a deaf character and LGBTQ stuff so that'll be fun. And then the one that I know everybody is going to be super jealous about is Tara Mafi's new book and I am so excited about this. I actually traded this for <laughs> A sex book that I'm sure if you guys follow a couple people on Twitter you'll see that I was running down the halls screaming if anybody wanted my sex book. Eventually got it traded for a very large expanse of the sea and I am beyond excited about it because everybody was really wanting it and I can't believe that I actually got it. I traded it for a Patrick Ness book and I'm sorry Patrick Ness but Tahara wins this time. We also got like a couple of other goodies in our swag bag so we got like a notebook and we got a bunch of pins. I'm super excited because we got an Angie Thomas on the come up and the Hate You Give pin so like yes. We also got like a tote bag where all of our swag was in so that's super fun. I also received a blister on the bottom of my foot so that's been a lot of fun trying to walk from the train station home that that was a good time. I did not film that much because I'm awkward and felt awkward filming things. I also didn't take any pictures. Natasha took pictures so maybe they'll be up, maybe they won't. I don't know what she plans to do with those but thank you so 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 much to HarperCollins Frenzy team for inviting me. I'm so happy I went even though I was terrified. It was a lot of fun so hopefully you guys like the little bit I filmed and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!